Now that your main server and your first load balancer are installed, to get the CMS to a production ready level, there are a few things that we need to do. The first thing we're going to do is add a channel. The first thing we're going to do is add a channel. We have selected one for weather nation. On the left hand side, go into stream management, live TV. On the right hand side, you will see add new input stream. This will ask you for some information. First of all, you can select the server that you would like the stream to run on. This is only for the input. For this example, we will use the node server. You paste the URL and you give it a name. By clicking add, the channel will now be added and it will start momentarily in the background. The next thing you need to do is you need to create a bouquet. We do this under stream management and then stream bouquets. Again, in the upper right hand corner, we click on add bouquet and click on add again. We now have the option of adding our channel to the active bouquet, select the channel and click the right arrow in the middle. Where multiple channels are available, multiple channels can be added and removed from this view. We save changes and then if we had multiple channels by scrolling down we would be able to drag and drop the order to suit your needs. Now the next thing we need to do is to create a customer. Go under user management, customers, again in the upper right hand corner add customer. Now there are a few bits of information that need to be given here. The username and password is automatically generated, however you can set this manually if you want to. Please be aware that login username can be unique to each customer only. No duplicates are allowed. You have the number of concurrent connections that this user account can make to the system. For this example we are going to allow two. We need to set an expiry date. For this example this is a one month contract. So we set it to expire on the 9th of November 2019. Selecting the bouquets that the four channels that this customer is allowed to access, select, and additionally you can put in notes if you would like. Clicking on add customer confirms the action and the customer is now added. To be able to access the output streams for this client. On the left hand side, click on the little green plus button and several options will become available. We're going to use the simple M3U example. So we will take this, we will go into VLC and paste. Make sure there are no additional spaces And here is your stream ready to go and available. If you now go back to stream management and go to live TV, you can see that your channel is online for the input. If we expand, you can see that the output is available. It gives us speed information and tells us that there are currently one connection to this stream. I hope this helped.